The break all option is a good way of taking an existing component that was originally designed in the context of an assembly and using it as a starting point for a new design. I would recommend using the save as copy option to create a copy of the original component file, then using the break all option on the new file. Once you've done this, you can make whatever changes are necessary, including adding new external references. The only limitation to this is that you cannot easily edit those features that have broken references. Let me open this top cover in its own window. Notice the first extrude has an arrow pointing to an X. This tells me I have a broken external reference. I want to remove that broken reference, so the first thing I'll do is edit the sketch of the extrude. Once I'm in edit sketch mode, I can use the display delete relations icon to show all of the relations in this sketch. You can see there are several, each with the broken reference symbol. I'll select delete all and click OK. I can exit the sketch at this point, or I can fully define it so it doesn't change. A quick way to do this is to use the fully defined sketch option. This adds as many geometric relations and dimensions as possible that can be inferred. You can access this option from the Tools Dimensions drop down menu. The Fully Defined Sketch Property Manager will appear. You're prompted to choose which entities you'd like to fully define all entities in the sketch or selected entities. In this case, I'll select all entities in sketch and either press Calculate to show the dimensions in the graphics area, or simply click OK. If I go back to the Display Delete Relations tool, you can see that a number of dimensions and relations were automatically added and the sketch is now fully defined. At this point, I can exit the sketch, and you'll see in the Feature Manager tree that the sketch no longer has a broken reference next to it. Unfortunately, the Extrude feature itself still does. The reason is that the extrude was defined using the up to vertex end condition. If you didn't know this, simply right click the feature and select list external references. Be sure to check the box to display broken references. To eliminate this reference, all I need to do is define the end condition as something other than up to vertex, such as blind. But what depth should be used with a blind extrusion? Now before making any changes, I'll use the measure tool to measure the thickness of the cover. Be sure to increase the number of decimal places to be as accurate as possible. This is the depth you'll use when you make the change to blind. Now I can right click the extrude and select Edit Feature. I'll switch the end condition to blind and type in 0 .0625 as the depth. I'll click OK and you can see the extrude no longer has an external reference. The only external reference remaining is on this sketch, used to locate the hole wizard holes. To eliminate the broken reference, I'll edit the sketch and use the Display Delete Relations tool to delete all of the external references. Before selecting Delete All, make sure you won't be deleting perfectly good relations. You can make sure of this by using the drop down list to filter for only those relations that are broken. And like I did before, I can now use the Fully Defined Sketch tool, or simply add any relations necessary to fully define this sketch. In this case, I'll add a few dimensions and exit the sketch. Now, you see there are no broken references anywhere on this component.